Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize James chapter 5, where James gave a warning to the rich, where he spoke about patience, and where he spoke about prayer. James began by scolding the rich people of the day. He told them that they needed to weep and howl because of the torment that would be visiting them in the near future. James said the wealth that they conveniently forgot to pay their employees who harvested in their fields will be a witness against them on Judgment Day. The corrosion from their hoarded and stolen gold and silver will come alive and will eat and burn their flesh. The rich people condemned and killed the innocent because the corrupt judges loved bribe money. They lived in pleasure and got fat from all the food that they ate. But James told them something scary. He said that their riches only fattened them for the day of slaughter. James then wrote to the Jewish Christians. He told them that they needed to stay patient and wait for the coming of the Lord. He told them that they should be patient like a farmer who planted seeds and watched the plants grow. Soon, very soon, there will be a harvest, but for now all the plants are still growing. They needed to mature and bear fruit first, then the harvest would come. James told them to look around at all the prophets of the Old Testament, especially Job. He was tormented and suffered greatly, but he was patient and he trusted in the Lord. And in the end, he was greatly rewarded. God said that those who wait patiently will be richly rewarded. James continued telling the believers some important things regarding their Christian life. He said that the believers should not swear or promise to do anything. They should say yes or they should say no. Their word was their bond and their word was their promise. Then James discussed praying. He said that the persistent prayer of a righteous man is very effective. James said that if there's anyone who is suffering, that person should pray. If anyone is happy, that person should pray by singing psalms to the Lord. James said that if anyone was sick, they should ask for the elders of the church to pray for them and anoint the sick person with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise up the sick person and will forgive his sin. James also wrote that people should confess their sins to each other and pray for each other and that God would heal them. James said Elijah was a man just like them and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain on the land and it did not rain for three and a half years. Then he prayed again, this time for rain, and then it rained. And if it was in God's will, they could do the same exact thing. The most important verses in this chapter are James 5, 19 and 20, which state, Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth and one convert him, let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that God wants all of us to wait patiently for His coming. We should not swear or promise to do anything, but we should let our yes be yes and our no be no. God wants us to know that our prayers are very important and very effective if we are righteous in His sight. If anyone is sick, they should ask the elders of their church to pray for them and anoint them with oil. And God wants us to confess our sins with each other so that we can pray for each other and support each other. Are you patiently waiting for the return of the Lord? Are you one of God's children? You can be today. Repent for your sin and turn to Jesus for salvation before it's too late. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross to pay for your sin. And the Father raised Jesus from the dead. God said that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and if you believe in your heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. Place your faith in Jesus today. Thanks for watching the James chapter 5 episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it.
Subscribe if you want to keep up with these daily videos too. See you next time.